are not in my house right now. Or actually, any house, for that matter. Come on in. I'm in a nuclear bunker, 40 feet underground. But this isn't just any old nuclear bunker. It's a declassified missile silo that they used to shoot the nukes from. And this is Hogarth. Say hi to him, everybody. Say hi, Hogarth. Wait a minute. You're probably thinking how I got in this situation. Well, I packed my bags and a dog, took an Uber, went to the airport, got on a bus, watched a man throw his child, let dog out for emotional support because the American Airlines people screamed at me, walked to the plane, got on the plane, sat on the plane, and hopped off the plane, took a bus from the airport in New Mexico with the dog, rented a car, and then it was suddenly time for a three-hour drive to Roswell, New Mexico. Here we go. Monty, are you ready? You ready? Uh, Monty, uh, you ready? Yeah! Then there was hail. Oh my god. Ah! Hell got better, but the land got spookier. I thought these were titans from Attack on Titan. Stopped to pee at some place called Halfway House Ranch, let Monty pee, and now... So, we're in the desert. Made it to an alien-themed town called Roswell, New Mexico. Off-roaded for 30 minutes into the desert, and suddenly I was... Regretting this now. We've arrived. Um, this is the luxury Airbnb. You don't get luxury like this anywhere else. He said park wherever I want, so. By the way, the heat that I'm referring to is Gary. Hi, Gary. Nice to meet you. He owns a missile silo, and you can book it on Airbnb, and so that's what I did. Oh my god, is that hatch, like, where it is? Do we have to, like, climb in? Okay, let's go meet Gary. Feeling. Then my surroundings really started to set in, and I was like, oh my god, I'm really going into a hole in the middle of the desert, and no one will know if I go missing. Hi there. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good, good boy. Not bad. Oh, hello. 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 So, how have you all been today? Good. Now I realize this looks like the start of a horror movie where I get my kidneys chopped up and slow cooked in a crock pot, but... Yeah, it took two and a half years to build these bad boys. I promise you Gary's a sweetheart. If anything happened to me, this video wouldn't even be a bit... These are 4,000 pound manganese doors. Good for 5,000 degrees in temperature. Wow. Whoa. Is this like where the center of the, um, like kind of like where the missile was? Oh no. This is just where the original five man launch crew stayed. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, my wife and I live downstairs. So we convert these into data storage facilities, uh, anything high tech. How many is there like, um, in the There US? are 72 of these in the map. Wow. Just a quick safety briefing, the emergency escape shaft directly above your head. In the event of a catastrophic failure, we lost everything. You wouldn't see the hand in front of your face right now. <laughs> Two explosions where everything blew up. Wow. Like the whole site exploded or? Well, the, the missile blew up inside the site. Wow. Monty. The ceiling is 40 feet thick and the rebar is over three inches of diameter. What we term is the big room and how we turn that to. Whoa. Huh. That's so insane. Right now you're 40 feet underground and you've got 145 feet to the bottom. Each one of those doors above your head are 150,000 pounds a piece. How do you turn on the lights in here again? Just right, right here. These last two. Just please turn them off when you leave and close the doors. Totally. Okay. Cool. All right, you all have fun. 
Thank you so much. Yeah. Curtis. What? Okay, so here's the, here's, here's the game plan. Um, the missile silo he took us to. I'm gonna try and spend 25 hours in there. <laughs> Why? Can I bring him? Uh, no. Thank God. Monty, he just said yes. He just said he wants to come. Monty, do you want to spend 24 hours with the bed? He's crazy. In the missile silo? <laughs> in the missile silo. Oh no, Monty thinks he's going. They say dogs have like a sense of like horror oh, before radiation. it happens. Oh. And then, you know, like supernatural. <laughs> he's freaking out. I wish you could come with me, but I could have set up their plans. Down we go. I feel like I'm walking to my death. <laughs> All right, just lock me away. I can't. I don't want to hear what Monty has to say. I know he can hear the demons, and I don't want to know what they have to say. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, have fun. Sit, I guess. Okay. <laughs> it looks like it's just just me and Hogarth here. I'm communicating with your people. This is definitely an interesting vacation. You're so far away. Join on the park. <clears throat> oh, y'all, he has a wire around his neck. Oh my gosh, I fully almost decapitated him. Sorry, home guns. Home guns. Okay. <laughs> okay, um, I won't lie. This is very scary. Let's explore a little bit. There's like a bunch of writing over here. To those who embark on a journey, I commend you. The depths hell awaits. This used to be a Zoom hacking YouTube channel. <laughs> there is one god here, Reckon. And I'm looking at him, Bartholomew. That's definitely not what I had him named. Gartholomew? Garth? No, we're not naming him Garth. Now, I brought two things with me. First, we have survival under atomic attack. It's just some light reading, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Next up, we have um someone who has always been there for me. <laughs> I don't know if I'd be here without him. And he's... Bang. I missed you, Ben. Did you miss me? <laughs> yeah, my man, my man. Oh, but not just Ben. Um, forgot to mention, I bought one of these things off Amazon, and I know this looks like it goes up a butt hole. Let me explain what this is. So basically, in all those ghost hunting shows where they have those little machiney bobinis to figure out if there's ghosts, that's what that is. Now listen, I'm not a superstitious person, and I don't really believe in anything. I don't even believe in myself. But being in this ambiance, knowing that three bombs have gone off where I'm literally sitting, maybe there's ghosts. So let's check. Ow. Ah, that really hurt my finger. Okay. I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> I actually don't know what to, what to do with this. I didn't bring the instruction manual on the plane. I just know that when this goes off, I, w <laughs> I will not be mentally okay. Let's take it back to here. I got really weird energy. I don't know if it was just me, but oh. <laughs> Yeah! Didn't see her lovely face there before. Um. <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa! It went to eight. Did you see that? What if you like look down here? Oh, oh! <laughs> Why'd it go to yellow? Hey, hey, ghost. Do you thunk? <laughs> do you thunk? I really just said. I just said, do you thunk? <laughs> um. Do you guys think I could get in there? What do you think the chances of me surviving are if I jumped across this gap that drops 100 feet? into there. <gasps> Let's ask Talking Ben. Ben. Should I jump across the gap, Ben? Uh. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we're not doing it. Oh. It cut me off of Ben. So, <laughs> we're down to Bar Garthal Morlagu and my survival under atomic attack. I'll let you know how it goes. So I read the atomic attack book for a bit and it was depressing. Um, I kind of feel like stepping up the spookiness factor. Why? It'd be funny. Bang. Should I turn off all the lights and see what happens? Yes. I don't know where my Apple Pencil is. Ben. <laughs> Me and Goobly Gop are not doing well. Um, it's been an hour and a half. I, um... I'm gonna go back. Like I feel. 
Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. 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 Uh, you know what? I'm not even gonna pick it up. I'm not even gonna pick it up. I'm, we're just gonna. Bye. The acoustics are kind of good in here. Okay. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> that was only like an hour and a half. Did you get scared? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, me and Curtis chilled for a bit and I was like, Curtis, do you want to play Minecraft? Do you want to look at Minecraft world? Mm. It'd be like, it'd be like fun. No, I'm 12. So anyways, screw Curtis. Me and Monty played Mario Kart and ran around. Help, Monty. Stop. Can you stop? Halt. <laughs> Um, Keep your chin up, princess. Your bandana's slipping. <laughs> the thing about being a hundred feet underground is no one's there to hear your funny, hilarious jokes. Within the past week, unmistakable evidence has established the fact that a series of offensive missile sites is now in preparation on that imprisoned island. The purpose of these bases can be none other than to provide a nuclear strike capability against the Western Hemisphere. Well, it's been 24 hours. Um, did I lose my sanity multiple times? The answer to that question would be yes! <laughs> Stop. Stop. We're leaving. <laughs> oh my gosh. Monty, you're only mad because you're upset that the bombs you leave outside aren't as strong as the ones they created here, huh? Bye, bunk, sweet bunk. Oh. I miss you. He is booking it. He's high tailing out of here. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Silo Man. Damn, it is not the Olympic Monty. <laughs> Alright. Get me out. <laughs> you're free! And we're off, I guess. Anyways, here's a dramatic montage of me leaving. Um, it hailed again, and someone's baby sharded itself on my Delta flight. But alas, finally, I made it home. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and turn on all post notifications. YouTube tells me that like 70% of y'all aren't subscribed. So if you wanna, if you wanna join the family, it's nice and warm, and we give out free hugs. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, I took some really fun pictures inside the silo. So if you wanna go check those out, those are my Instagram. My username is at end of the week. Go comment some of the new emojis that they just dropped. So I know you came from this video. I love y'all so much. I will see you next Sunday. Take care, better of the week. It's chill.